Everyone likes getting stuff for free, right? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about bartering and how you can use it to get a whole host of different things without spending anything. Let's go. That's a good girl. Right, we're gonna wait here for a sec. So, today's video is about bartering. First of all, I'm just gonna cover the different methods and ways in which you can barter. Number one, products. Here's my banana, can I have a melon? It can be from tiny things up to, you know, cars get swapped, houses get swapped, but product for product, or product for anything else. Second thing, services. So for example, I will fix your car in return for X. And then thirdly, knowledge. That could be, I will teach you how to fix your car for X. I will teach you how to not get lost when you're out in the wilderness with the doggo in return for whatever it might be. The reason that I'm making this video is because I think it ties in perfectly with this channel and what myself and Alicia are doing. We're moving off grid and we don't have a lot of money. However, I have a specific set of skills. <laughs> I can tell you I don't have money, but what I do have are a very particular set of skills that are useful to some people and I also have the means to do them without costing us a lot of money. That's why in this channel, and I'll give you some real world examples later on, we have used bartering as a way to gain things that we can't afford ourselves. One of the major things I wanna stress though, and I think it's because I myself in starting this channel and approaching a lot of different people bartering for services, I felt quite anxious and quite nervous that what I wanted to offer, they wouldn't value either at all or they definitely wouldn't value it as much as cold hard cash, you know? But my piece of advice to anyone, you have something that other people will value. Sorry about that. It's quite windy up here in the mountains and I'm using my Ronin as a tripod, which it's not the best. What was I saying? You have something that other people will value. That's it. Plain and simple, these examples that I give in this video are specific to myself and specific to this channel. So you can use those same examples or you may have, I'm sure, a wide variety of different examples that you can specifically use to basically barter and get something for free. It's not the greatest weather here today. So maybe I should head back down the hill, back into a bit more shelter. Come on, doggo, let's go. As if everyone doesn't know that you know, I need the bag and I need the camera and all of that kind of stuff. So, right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'll put the Ronin down because it's just way too heavy to carry. If I had two hands and I didn't have a dog in one of my hands, then maybe, but no, it's just too heavy. <laughs> Let's just give you an example of how I'm using bartering and why I'm using it on this channel as almost one of the kind of core ways in which I'm meeting people and make, creating content on the channel. The main way in which I've gone about doing this is trying to find people that A, I'm interested in, B, I want to learn something from or they create something that I'm really interested in, and C, which really should be the first one, the most important, will they value, do you think they need something that you're providing? Now obviously you're not gonna know that until you actually get talking with them. But in this example, photography and video, I went for smaller companies, other YouTubers, people that I've seen on Instagram, a lot of, because especially a lot of crafters, bushcrafters, people that create things, that is the case anyway, that they're a small company themselves. And therefore I've gone to them and they might need, because they're doing the photos or videos themselves at the moment, they might need that. But I will say, when I first started this channel, I contacted probably, I don't know, I think I may have sent about 50, 60 different emails to different channels and different places, sorry. I'd be lucky if 15% of the people get back to me and are interested. And that's something major that I think I've learned from this bartering system is while you do need to value what it is that you are giving, myself, it being photography and videography services that obviously have come from a, over a decade's worth of experience that if it was a corporate customer, I would charge I have a set amount in my head and going to someone that I want something from and saying, would you like this thing in return? Now, you can't go in thinking, right, well, I would normally charge this much. So therefore, that's how much they're going to give me, you know, give me in return that monetary value, but in services or products, because 
that's just not the case. At the end of the day, they need to value what it is that you're providing for them. So that would be one key piece of advice that I would say with doing this is be realistic about what it is that you're offering, what it is that you're getting, and most importantly, communicate. Because very quickly, people can potentially feel like they're giving too much or you can feel like you're giving too much and not getting the same amount in return. The way that I've approached it is by being as open and honest about what it is that we're doing no contracts or anything you can do contracts that's absolutely fine yeah maybe on an email we've got a thing of just being just so everyone's clear this is what i'm going to create and that's what you're going to do for me but you don't have to necessarily really formalize it but just being open and honest with people is so important because if and when that time comes that someone feels like they're doing a bit more than the what they're getting back they know you well enough to be able to say to be honest, I, 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 I've done a bit, quite a bit more work and I, I'd like a bit extra, or you know, I, I don't really have the time to do that at the moment because of X, Y, and Z. So therefore, um, if you could maybe pay or if you could give me something else, then maybe I would do it. Because if you don't communicate and if that happens, then very quickly relationships just can get ruined. And trust me, that's talking from experience. Okay, let's keep going. I've attached Echo to the back to the bag to see if fucking maybe try and do some walking and talking. We'll, we'll, let's see how it goes. <laughs> no, no, it's failed already. This brings us on to ways in which you can contact people and start off this bartering service. So, first of all, if you're doing it online, you could contact people's websites. You could go through their social media channels a local Facebook group or a specific industry related Facebook group. But something I'll definitely say if you are gonna do this is take the time to do just five minutes, 10 minutes of research into that company before you send that email. That might be into giving examples to them of things that you like and also ways in which the thing that you're offering might help them to show that you're not just sending this template email out. When I've had emails sent to me that have clearly just been, hi, sir or madam, get off this. Yeah, when I've been sent emails that have just said, you know, hi, sir or madam, and then I would like to offer X, Y, and Z, I delete it instantly because they clearly haven't even taken the time to know that my name's Jason, you know, because it says it clearly on my website and things like that. It's just, if they haven't taken two minutes to just do a little bit of research, then it's not worth looking at. To give you another example of this, so when I contact some of the companies that I do, I will look on and maybe look at either events or projects they do or courses. And I'll say, oh, I love that course because it reminds me of X and I, you know, a story or something that I really enjoyed and it's finding some common ground between us, you know? And then from that, I'd like to also offer this because I think you could use it within your, the event that you've got coming up or whatever it might be. So in essence, you're finding common ground, you're potentially offering us something that you think that they want, and you're giving them an example of how they can use the thing that you're gonna offer them. I was getting knackered, time for another break. So that brings me on to the next one. If you're contacting people online, other thing you can do is meet people in person. Now that might not always be easy because just sheerly because of location and being able to get to them. And also obviously it costs money to go and visit people. But if you can, there'll be potentially local groups that might be industry related or related to the thing that you want to learn. There may be um, kind of business networking events or just similar kind of networking events, or most importantly, volunteering. This is an example of what I've been doing around here is by my end goal is I might want some experience, expertise, maybe even some services from some people, but they're not interested in for example, photography and video. But what they might be interested in is just sheer labor. <laughs> and also by meeting people, you're, you're forming those relationships. I truly do believe, and that's why I, I, do, but I have faith <laughs> in this channel that by getting out there, by just putting positive energy and trying to just potentially, if I can, help others, but also have fun at the same time, it will, return you know i will get the same back it may not be in the exact ways that you think when you first start out but there may be that person that knows that person that does a thing that then ends up can help you to give you a prime example of this 
for this channel i've been contacting people to do various things whether it be willow weaving or foraging or growing various things and then i've quite a few of the people that i've met have either a known of other people that i've been looking to meet in the future and they're like oh yeah, yeah i'll just give you the number or turns out they know three or four different things i'm like ah oh, that's even more important like than what i'd like to learn okay let's keep going Well, that coat gets bored and has a sniff. So this gives you some real world examples of how I have bartered on this channel and what we've got in return. And that's the first bunch of emails that I sent out. I have met Jamie from Hal Bushcraft and I have had plenty of trips away. Some of them have been just one-on-one, -on -one, some have been with a group and I have learned various bushcraft skills and he's also, he does products on his website. He's also given me a few products here and there as well in return for stuff we've done together on the channel that will be coming soon I promise <laughs> um, and also stuff that I've done for him. The very same thing happened with Nigel Armitage. I got Alicia one-on-one -on -one training so like a one-on-one -on -one three day course. It, it ended up being four days but that was because I was taking their time up by filming them and I spent probably about six days filming with Nigel. He gave Alicia that experience in return. She made herself a wallet. He's also gave me the belt that I'm wearing right now. This belt is the belt that I took a photo of that's now on the front of his second book that he's made. We didn't deliberately choose this one, but he just got out some belts and I said, oh, I'd really like a really nice, decent belt. And he was like, there you go, pick one. Another one is someone that I met through Instagram and that's Jarek at Vesprey Designs. He creates beautiful little leather products and this has been different because Jarek is quite at the beginning of his career. So therefore there's been some times where it's like, give us something that you want. So for example, the wallet, the very first wallet that I had, I'd seen what Alicia had created with Nigel and I was like, I want something similar. And then obviously in doing so, I've taken photographs of it and it is something that he's gonna start offering. Another example is Brian at Journeyman Handcrafts. I cannot wait to share with you the project that we've done with Brian and in return, again, photos and videos and different bits and pieces. To give an example that doesn't ha always have to be singular people, I contacted the War Museum and offered it as a service. I said, I'd like to create a film that's basically for my channel, but is pretty much an advert for you. And it's something that I'm personally interested in, which is why I wanted to make the video. But also that was my wall present to Alicia, was her getting a VIP tour around the Wall Museum and also some kind of hands-on practicing with one of the looms and a few different bits and pieces, which was uh, amazing. And I do truly believe that out of all of these examples that I've given you, whenever I've created something for someone else, they value it more than if they'd paid for it. Now, I'm gonna take a photo, because if I pick up the camera, she's gonna move as soon as I get up. This is how interesting that Echo thinks that it is to be on a film set with me. So I suppose we should keep going. Okay, up. Echo is just behind the camera, millimeters away from knocking the camera. Look at the intent in this dog's eyes. It looks like something is about to happen. Please Echo, just stay there. So this brings me to the end of the video and I want to barter for something from you. The thing that I'm after is you pressing that subscribe button. Obviously only if you're interested in watching our content, but if this has been entertaining and if you've watched any of the other videos that we've done, then please press subscribe, like, share, all of that kind of stuff. But the reason I'm asking you to press subscribe is because we are nearing our first thousand subscribers. And when we reach our first thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a giveaway. So when we do that giveaway, you may be the person that gets something for nothing. Okay, thanks again, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Well done, Echo. You didn't move. You're such a good girl. You wanna learn how to barter and in the process get a load of free stuff? Well, today Echo has flipped me around, so I'm having to do that again. This way. So first of all, I wanted to give, it looks like she's sniffing my butt. Is she sniffing my, I was like. <laughs> Before I bought this road in, I remember seeing Peter McKinnon using it as a vlogging thing with a 1DX Mark II on top, which is about the same weight as the camera that I'm using. And me, it's way too heavy <laughs> to try and vlog with. Oh.